Hi everybody, wherever you may be, it's Larry, Kilo 7, Hotel November, back again with another video. Good to see you guys. You're listening to a web SDR right now from Maui, Hawaii. This is 7205 on the island of Maui. It's a good way for you to check how your radio sounds, just to check propagation. Okay, so we're going to do a test. First of all, a shout out, Bob Nagy, AB5N, great guy. Bob, you've taught me a lot. Bob's forgotten more on his worst day after a concussion than I know on my best, smartest day. He's got great stuff on his channel. Also, my good friend, Jim Heath, W6LG, Ham Radio Basics, one of the best ham radio channels there is. He's a great guy. Eric, kj 5 KJ4YZI, Ham Radio Concepts, very nice guy, good Christian guy, young man, good man, like him very much. And uh, of course, Dave Kassler, good guy too. Josh is real good. A lot of folks do good stuff on Ham Radio content. What I try and do is not dive into all the electronic stuff. You can get that on their channels or other well, you know, other places. What I want to do is put you here in the chair at the rig, using it right away based on the title. So here we go, QRP working the middle of the Pacific Ocean on QRP. The difference between a wire antenna and a vertical. Why the difference? Well, a dipole is very effective. Nothing wrong with a wire antenna, but if you get the vertical up high enough, the takeoff angle down the horizon is lower. For that reason, you'll have usually a louder signal, more gain, sounds better. So we are on 7205 right now. We'll switch to the webcam. I want to hurry because people are waking up, starting to use every frequency available. It's known to humankind, if you know what I mean. So we'll turn back on Maui. And let's check here. We are currently at five watts, only five. Try and get you as much of the screen as I can. And there we go. All right, so we are at five watts. This is on the ZS6 BKW wire antenna. Frequency call check. See if you can hear it. Five watts, 2,600 miles away. Look at that. That's five watts. Five watts working 2,600 miles away. One more time. Now, I've already checked this at 200 watts, but that was before I did the video, okay? And that was roughly two minutes ago, two and a half. So, it was clear then, I gotta hurry, so let's move. Five watts now on the AV680 high gain vertical antenna. Same power, we're at five watts. Listen to the difference. Now we're getting a lot of QS, uh, QRN there, a lot of QRN and some QSB. Let's try that call again. All right, and realizing, because you know something's wrong, you just know right away. I never tuned back up on the vertical. Now listen. And there you go. All right, let's move to 10, let's double it to 10. Now this gives you half of an SU, only half. So what we'll do, is instead of 10, we'll double it to 20. 20 watts, we're gonna go back to the wire. We'll do the same exact comparison. So again, we're going from the ZS6 BKW antenna over to the high gain AV680 vertical on QRP. So 20 watts, let's listen in Maui. Let's see how it sounds. All 
right? Don't think I hit the tune button. Trying to work fast because people in the East Coast and then you move to the Central Time Zone, they're waking up now. Gotta hurry. Gotta move. Okay, so let's try this again. Clearly hear everything. Everything. All right? Everything very clearly at 10, no, excuse me, at uh, 20 watts. So let's go to the vertical and you'll hear the difference. So we move over to the high gain AV680 vertical. This is a nine band vertical antenna that you can usually, you can use eight at one time. The ninth, you change between 75 or 80 meters. Okay, let's listen. 20 watts on the vertical. Hear the difference? That's the difference right now by using a vertical versus a wire because it has a lower takeoff angle. A lower takeoff angle gives you better DX. It'll get the signal farther out there. It's just the way it works. I mean, the best way I can describe it is it's kind of like the station being put on steroids in a way, okay? Let's try and see what we do here. If you were to put this up at 40 watts, again, that's one more half S unit. This is the, we'll use the ZS6 BKW wire first. Just to keep the comparison similar. Okay, so we're going to go back to the dipole. This is at 40 watts. So just 40. Let's see what 40 does 2,600 miles away. There you go. All right. Let's see to make sure on my rig, I'm not hearing anybody yelling at me. What are you doing? Now we'll go to the vertical. Tune the vertical up. Again, changing antennas, different impedances. You want to make sure to, you know, tune it up. So now in the vertical, 40 watts into Maui. Now you hear the difference there? Pretty simple. It's pretty easy to see the difference and hear the difference between those two antennas. And the reason why, again, because the vertical just has a lower takeoff angle to the horizon. The lower the takeoff angle, the longer the skip. Remember? Skip, if you go up higher, it's got to go way up high to the ionosphere, back down. Salt water, great conductor because of the salt content bounces up pretty well off the water, goes back up. Well, if you have a higher takeoff angle, it takes a lot of skips. A lower takeoff angle goes way out there, then comes back down. All right, at 40 watts, let's see if we can make some kind of a contact on the AV680 vertical at only 40 watts. Now, I know we can use 200, but part of the fun is seeing what you can do. Let's find out. Making sure this frequency is still available. This is kilowatt seven hotel November. Okay. So far, so good. Let's try one more time, just to be polite. Make sure. Checking this frequency is still available. This is getting something there. So that means move, period, always does. But the point is made 
because in essence what you've done is you've just proven that the 680 the vertical antenna is going to skip on a lower takeoff angle that's the main point if you're working qrp and right now it's difficult it's very difficult on 40 to find an opening it's just insane literally it's insane you look at the waterfall for 40 right now and literally every two or so kilohertz there's someone there it's just the way it is so it's that time of morning where lots of folks are waking up and they're getting on their radios because gray lines coming and they make good calls and you know doing their thing which is what this is all about so it's not a contest to you know overpower the next guy and keep the signal it's about doing the right thing we're here to all have a good time that's the whole point so qrp yeah 40 were great 40 watts was just fantastic on this rig all the way into the pacific on the av 680 i highly recommend that antenna by the way it does 6 10 12 15 17 20 10 40 75 80. you just pick if you want 75 or 80. it's got a little clip on it and there's essentially a large coil that's at the top you clip the coil at the place that you want to work. For me, I tuned it to be in the middle of the 80 meter phone band because I like to use phone. So that's what I did. If you want to use QRP and use it in a way that really is helpful, if you use a vertical antenna, man, you're solid. You really are. Now I know a lot of the purpose of QRP is to go out in the field to work, you know, islands of the air or you know, parks on the air or something like that, you know, do contesting QRP. And that's great. Nothing wrong with that. But for folks that can afford or can get a vertical of any kind, even build your own, they're wonderful tools to use if you're going to use QRP because it's going to give you a lower takeoff angle down the horizon. It's going to be a little more effective than that dipole. And in QRP, a little more effective is a lot. That's the whole point. So thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Sorry, the video is just a little short, but I'd rather get to the point quickly than talk about lots of other stuff and get off on track, you know. Hey, Bill Caps, 7205. Welcome, Bill. It's an honor you're here, my friend. You know what? I'm on 05. I heard something in Maui. I can certainly tune up. Yeah. Let's try it. I'm good for that. I'd love to talk to you, Bill. Yeah, let me just go to 100 because I like to see if I can work basically where other people are. So let me just check to see in my area, Bill, if everything's available. If we're good, let's do it, okay? Checking frequency availability, please. This is Kilowatt 7 Hotel November. See, I'm hearing nothing back, so that's good. So, Bill, I think on my end here in Oregon, I'm good. If you can call back, let's go, man. <laughs> let's go. I'll tell you what. I will call a CQ out there. Bill, if you're on 7205, let's let her rip. See how we do, okay? CQ, CQ40, CQ40. Looking for my friend Bill out there if he's up. This is Kilo 7, Hotel November. Kilo 7, Hotel November, calling CQ. CQ on 40 meters, CQ 40 from the Pacific Northwest of Oregon. Looking for my friend Bill. This is Kilo 7, Hotel November. King 7, his name, calling CQ on 7205 and listening. All right, let's try it, Bill. That'd be great. I would love that. We'll get this live. I love that stuff. So, I'm, while I wait for Bill for a second, the point is on QRP, which is fun. QRP is a kick in the tail, by the way. The brand new ICOM QRP rig, awesome. Great reviews on it, great initial reviews. And anything you can put in a backpack and just go use, who wouldn't want that? That'd be cool. So, QRP is very popular. To use that vertical, 
that's really a good thing. So again, kudos to High Gain for making a great vertical. We've loved it. It's been very good. It's been good for me actually on 17, solid on 20, solid on 15. It's been really good on 40. And it's the only antenna I've ever been to work here on 80. It's the only antenna I have that has worked really good on 80. So I've been really happy with it. Let's call again so, so I can get you, Bill. CQ40, CQ40 meters. This is Kilo 7, Hotel November. Kilo 7, Hotel November. Calling CQ on 40. CQ, CQ, Kilo 7, Hotel November. Calling CQ on 40 and listening. I think I got something there, Bill. Hmm. So much noise today, Bill. Ton of noise. Tell you what, let's go the other way let's go to the zs6 bkw because i do have less noise verticals will pick up more atmospheric noise let me go to the dipole just a second bill hang on oh hold on a second there we go bill no propagation all right brother well you know what bill thank you thank you very much for watching it's an honor it really is i i'm grateful you came thank you thank you very much it means a lot to me um, this is something that's just a passion. I mean, it's 4.30 in the morning. I haven't fallen asleep yet because I just enjoy radio a lot. And I, I'm a person who's disabled. I have chronic pain, but this is my way of dealing with it. And what a great way, you know, sit down, make new friends. It's a lot of fun. So I've been very, very grateful to meet some great, great, wonderful people. And Bill, thank you for trying. Let's get that on again, okay? I'd love to do that. I would love to do that. That's now on my list. In fact, Bill, I'm going to write down your call sign. I want to make sure I get your call here. AF4 Oscar Delta. All right, cool. Got you down. All right, Bill, we are get you down. I don't have you in the log yet, but I'll work. We'll work on it, okay? We'll work on it. I'm typically, when I'm just having fun, Bill, I'm usually between about 7150 and 7170. Usually on 40, that's where I like to be. But you got to have a place in there, you know. Or I will go on 20, but I like to stay up above 14.3. It's just easier that way, in my opinion. So, all right, man, let's do that on QRZ. That'd be a lot of fun. Folks, we're going to cut this video at this point. QRP works well. There's a good audio demonstration of how it works all the way to Maui. Five watts, five, out of both a wire antenna and a vertical, you heard the difference, and then doubling the power and then doubling the power and kind of getting a feel for how that sounds, okay? Once you get the vertical at 20 watts, it's like there's no contest because the gain in the vertical is higher, mostly because of the takeoff angle. It just has a better takeoff angle. So there you go. Verticals are great for that. You pay a little bit back in more atmospheric noise coming into it. Thank you for watching. God bless you guys. Thanks a lot. We'll be back with more stuff later today, maybe in a little while. We'll see on the North America Radio Guide channel. Thank you for watching. It's an honor, and I do mean that from the bottom of my heart. Goodbye, everybody.